Hello friends, Archangel with Crypto Angel here. As I'm sure you've heard, ShibaSwap has launched and you can get to that site by going to shibatoken.com and using the use ShibaSwap button in the upper right hand corner, or you can go directly to shibaswap.com. Please make sure that you have some sort of notification or icon that shows you have a secure connection. So this is going to be the fifth video of our ShibaSwap tutorial series. In the first video, we covered how to connect your MetaMask account. In the second video, we showed you how to use the swap functionality. And in our case, we swapped Ethereum for Bone. In the third video, we covered how to bury and stake your tokens using the bury functionality. In the fourth video, we covered the dig functionality and how to provide liquidity. And now we are going to look at the wolf functionality and how to farm bone tokens. So again, we've created a bone Ethereum pair. However, our work wasn't done with just the pairing of that. We need to add the pair to the wolf pool. So again, this little add liquidity button is here. If you haven't created that pair yet, you can click that add liquidity button and it will take you to the dig functionality in case you were wondering what that, that part was. So in order to add our bone Ethereum pair, we need to approve the system to utilize our pair. And we will go ahead and bump up that transaction fee to fast. So it'll go through a little faster while we're adding this. Now, again, this does not add the bone Ethereum pair to the wolf pool. If you stop at this, you will not get bone rewards. So this is just allowing the system to, we, we are approving the system to utilize that bone Ethereum pair. So the next thing that we'll be doing once this transaction processes is clicking through the actual deposit functionality. So we just got notified that our bone Ethereum pair has been approved and now we will deposit that pair. So we're going to go ahead and deposit the whole thing and you can hit max. And as you can see, when you have some deposited, you'll be able to withdraw, but you'll, you can see your wallet balance here for your, the amount of liquidity pool tokens that you have. And you can see your deposited amount here. Again, we'll click max and we'll click deposit. And again, we will edit that gas fee to fast and just up our limit. We'll say 20,000 there or 200,000. And again, if you need to understand this a little bit better, we did cover this in detail for the, the difference between the gas price and the gas limit in the swap video. So please go back and check that out if you're, if you're interested in, in that portion. So we have our pending transaction for deposit here and we will wait. So again, you can see that the bone Ethereum pair is still producing at a 4,000 and change percent rate. This will go down drastically over the next few days and already has gone down quite a bit in the last 24 hours. So these are the 16 pairs that can produce bone. And just to cover these items over here real quick, the Wolfable USDC this week and the WBTC, these are on the same schedule as the Berry Rewards. So we'll look at this and our transaction actually did not go through. So what we're going to do is raise those gas fees again, as long as we've got them. So we'll look at our MetaMask account, and this is actually good for you all to see. So we've got $88 of Ethereum that we can spend on that gas. So I'm sure a lot of you have run into this issue while trying to either stake or bury uh, or dig your, your tokens. So we're going to go ahead and click that deposit button again with the max number. We're going to raise our gas fee to fastest. And then because we upped that one to 200,000 last time, 
we're going to go ahead and put that at 350,000 to get through there. Now again, actually let's go ahead and bump this up to 400,000 and make sure it goes through. Now, this does not mean this is what we're going to be spending. This is the gas fee that we want to spend, but if it does increase, we're not going to get kicked out and lose that gas fee anyway. So we're going to go ahead and click confirm there. And let's go ahead and look at this on Etherscan. So you can see that our gas price is requesting to be 33 guay and our max transaction cost or fee is going to be about $31.52. Now once this goes through, if it goes through, you will see this amount change. But back to this section here, these items are going to be on the same reward schedule as the berry rewards. So again, this is going to be in 10 days and then will happen every seven days thereafter. It will be on a set schedule. It's not based on when you put your rewards in. This is going to be a set schedule. So this wolfed amount will show your 33% that you can take out in that 10 day period and this button becomes active. The unwolfable amount is the 67% that's going to be locked for six months. And then this wolfable date will show you the first date that you can actually take those items out. So again, we, we did have a successful transaction there. And we'll go back over here and see that our, our transaction fee was actually only $14.82. So even though we bumped it up to where if there was a spike in price that it would cover it without us losing our, our gas fee that we initially set, uh, we didn't end up needing that, so we ended up with a gas price of $14.82. So I'm glad you guys got to see that in real time. I'm not going to edit that out of this video for comfortability. I'm just going to leave it in there so you can see how that process works. I'm coming down here to the Wolfable Bone. This is strictly for the Wolf liquidity pools. And you can see your wolfed until now, unwolfable, and wolfable on the next date. Now, just as these numbers won't populate until the first rewards happen, this section right here will not populate until we actually click wolf this 0.01 bone. Now, I'm not going to do that. I just want to show you that it is possible. So we would just hit that confirm button and go or, you know, edit our gas fees and gas limit as appropriate. And once that transaction confirmed, then it would fill in this unwolfable amount with the 67%, the wolfed until now with the amount that you've taken out, and then the wolfable on the next date, which would be six months from now. So I hope that information has been helpful to you. And with that, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And with that, Archangel out.